This episode of No Huntsville is brought to you by Yellow Hammer Brewery. All right, this is Tom. And I'm Joe. And this is No Huntsville. Welcome to another episode. Today, we're uh, very excited. We have someone very special in. Uh, Nichols Cigar Box Guitars representative John Nichols in here. Uh, we had him in a few weeks ago, but uh, we really didn't stick on point. This time, we're going to stay on point. We're going to uh, uh, talk about what you guys got going over there at your uh, shop and also let you play. So uh, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming in. Thank Thanks for you. having me back. All right, John. So let's let's start from the very beginning. And for people who don't know, uh, what is a cigar box guitar? So let's talk about that. Cigar box guitar started out as basically a poor man's version of a guitar. Right. Um, cigar boxes actually used to be barrels. They basically knocked down the quantity, put them into something more manageable, uh, mm -hmm. usually 50 to 100 cigars in a box. And then people just took a stick, threw it in the box, stick in a box, <laughs> and then some strings. Mm -hmm. So, and then you got a poor man's guitar. Some, I guess the first ones weren't really fretted or anything like that. So, um, Right, so and at your shop, you guys are building these things. We are. Right, so you, you start with boxes. You, you, you start with cigar boxes, right? So mm -hmm. uh, where do you get your cigar boxes from? Uh, Humidor is our main supplier. There's a couple more. There's Patriot Cigars. Right. There's uh, Cigar Room out in Madison. Uh -huh. uh, those are our main guys, and then we get a lot of people that don't. So they give you empty boxes that they've used, that they took their cigars out, they're selling. They Correct. give you these boxes. And so let's talk about... Uh, what do you do with these boxes? So what really constitutes a cigar box guitar? Give me the break down the different parts and show me what the differences are between the two the, the different uh, cigar boxes and give me the different uh, you know the, the different ways they're, they're built. Okay, so this one in particular is a I think it's like a Rocky Patel box. It's a special edition. There's okay. actually no wood in this box. It is completely cardboard. It's hard. Um, yeah, there's uh, this thing off here. So that kind of shows you nothing but paper really in there. So. Nice. The great thing about cigar box guitars is nobody's really expecting much. So when they sound <laughs> good, you know, it's, it's a good thing. And let's, let's explain to everybody else that these are electric. These are guitars you can out, plug into an amp. A lot of sound. A lot of sound. Not only electric, we take it a whole nother step. We, uh, we drop in uh, hand-wound magnets and stuff, and we'll run those through effects and bass amps and stuff like that and try to broaden the spectrum and everything. But more or less, uh, sticking a cigar box, strings, uh, some frets if you want them. You don't have to have them. You can play slide with a, you know, a glass bottle or something like that. But right. ultimately, the simpler the better. So, Is there a particular a cigar box that you guys look for like bigger or narrower what i mean there's a few i like them particularly kind of narrow uh mm. some people like the deeper physics don't apply uh because okay. even if you use the That's same box right. you'll get two different sounds so sure uh, physics do not apply to cigar boxes a little bit but not enough to to actually know how it's going to sound after it's so, and let's talk about your shop so you have a shop over at low mill mm -hmm. it's a great little shop so uh you guys are again building these guitars you do a lot of custom work Love. you also do your, your normal you know your, your standard uh cigar box guitars but you like you said you do so a lot of custom work and then you have a you, you put a stage in there where you're actually putting on shows over there right yeah. Yeah. so tell really? us about your shop and tell us what people beautiful can it's a beautiful shop I mean, yeah right it's I mean. really cool so um tell us about uh, your shop and tell us about you guys do lessons too and, and we do yeah we do uh, building lessons and then we get free playing lessons every Saturday nice the most important part of music is to make sure that if you're just getting into music that you succeed you don't go through all the headaches that are involved with a six string yeah. guitar um, so we we want people to have more or less an instant success with it right uh, because failing is frustrating and you, <laughs> it keeps them into it you know it takes <laughs> listeners as well as players I mean we'd be playing to no one if no one listened but uh, the the point is is that music uh, can definitely tap parts of the brain uh, that are normally untapped and that's why they push that music in the schools and everything like that yeah sure um, but other than that. Uh, yeah, classes uh, for building, classes for playing, uh, date night. If you know you're looking. Tell for me about date night because this is really interesting. Yeah, I really like this. Do you have to have a date, or do you get a date there? No, you can bring uh, a blow-up doll if you want. Nice. <laughs> we'll, we'll feed you both. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just, so. Tell us about that. So, what happens when I bring a date over there? What are we? Can, what can we expect when we come over there? Okay, you pop in first. We kind of find out what beer, wine you like. Uh, sure. We've yeah. Got, uh, beer Which is that important. actually pours out Man. of an electric cigar box that 
we can plug it into the amp while we pour beer. It's it's kind of uh, that's very, a, that's another show because you got to bring that on. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> real. I'm gonna tell you both that it's very anticlimactic, but you know, uh, it it is an electric beer pour. Um, but we'll find out what beer or wine you like, or sparkling grape juice, if that's your thing. Um, All right. We'll call in to Chef Will. Uh, we'll go ahead and let him know, maybe like the day before. And he's a lunch truck over at Lo- uh, Low Mill, who also provides yeah, vegetarian. Yeah, he's going to be coming in here soon, too, right? Uh, yeah, so we're trying to schedule him to come in here and talk about his food, but he's Meat got guy. really good food. So it's an uh, entire day from, you know, eating the, yeah, the we'll activity to... And not only that, we, we ask people that come on date night to... Look at Low Mill's calendar. See what show you want to see. Because after mm. you're done three hours later building the guitar, we send you up to the show. Oh, that's great. Right. So yeah. we just make sure you get the, the whole experience. So are you build, So if you come for a day night, are you building a cigar box? You're building guitar? and you are walking out with a working electric cigar box Man. three hours later. That's so, pretty neat. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. We've met a lot of cool people that way too. So Nice. All right. So let's talk about this. Uh, so you have your shop. You're putting together cigar box guitars. You do a lot of custom work. You do a lot of lessons. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about some events that are coming up that you guys are involved in that people should definitely check out and should be a part of. Okay, so May 30th, May 31st uh, is the Cigar Box Festival, yes. And it is like my wet dream of people coming to play that. It's the 10th annual one, right? 10th annual. 10th already? It's and it's at wow. Loma. It's at Loma. Huntsville is the capital of Cigar Box guitars. That's amazing. Man, I didn't know that really either until... We hit the 10th annual well, nobody no, else yeah, You probably had a lot to do with that, though, I mean. Uh, you know, people think we do. <laughs> <laughs> so, Run with it, man. Just go ahead, yeah, like, like, go ahead and just keep that, keep that going. Yeah. yeah we, uh, well, we definitely let them know who's doing the hard work. You know, we try to raise money. And this year, it's completely free. Before, it's been $15 to get in and see all these cool uh, musicians. But this year, completely free, there's going to be at least 10 vendors before I've even posted the, the vendor application. So, wow. Uh, there's a lot of people coming. It's also going to be uh, during the artist market in the Flying Monkey. So you've got all those other artists up there, yeah, arts and crafts. And we're talking about a lot of good guys that, that are going to be playing. Local artists, uh, Microwave Dave, right? Well, he's so, kind of the, the pinnacle he's of things. He's the He's the guy, right? So, yeah, Microwave Dave is why I'm doing it. So sure. that and Max Russell, one of those um, two guys. Right? One of Stevie King's favorite guitars. It is. Yeah, yeah. that was that was pretty neat. What? Was, yeah, it was he, Stevie he King. wrote the microwave day. He wrote an entire book listening to one of microwave Dave's albums. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I didn't even know that. It was probably right after he got hit by the car or something like that, you know. But I mean, I remember that, and then I remember that article coming out next, as far as chronological order, you know. Of and Stephen King was like, I really like microwave Dave and the Nukes, you know. So well, that's crazy. Well, so that okay. So you got the tenth annual Cigar Box Guitar Festival, May third is happening happen at Low Mill. Arts and entertainment, and then like, let's talk about some other stuff you got going on. Uh, Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo is right, right after. You that. guys got a tent there. We do, and you know how many guitars we built? No, zero. <sighs> I know. All right, so <laughs> next month it's really gonna it's gonna get. You got to pick it up. Yeah, it's gonna get loud at the mill. Well, it's been so <clears> busy. <throat> the metrics don't add up. I've looked at the past three years. Yeah. There's no metric saying we should be busy right now this time of year, and it's, we've been slammed. Slammed. So it's been great. That's you good know, news. I'm not complaining. So. And then uh, I also saw see here that you have the 48th annual Tennessee Valley Old Timer Fiddlers Convention, which you're going to be a part of in October. That's a lot of fun. They finally accepted us. Our first year, they stood about 20 feet back and just stared at us. You know, so, uh, the second year, they actually walked into the tent and you know got a few things. But uh, right. I'm pretty sure this year we're going to be one of the fiddlers. So, well, that's great. I'd like to think that way. Anyway. I'm very so. excited. So. John, this is what I've been waiting for. So I went and waited for the interview. I want to talk about cigar box, uh, uh, cigar box guitars, but I really want to have you in here so you can play. So this is what I'm excited about. You're going to play us a song right now. So tell yeah, us this is one of the, the new style guitars, and actually it's not very expensive. There's a, a couple of pedals in the loop that would end up costing you a couple more bucks, but really you're talking about, say, you're starting at one of our baseline guitars, which is 135 Now, you can get the kits at 65 and build it yourself. You're on $65. Yeah, you can dump your own elbow <laughs> grease into this. And they sell make it, too. Right. I mean, they sell really yeah. good 65 bucks. That's a, that's a you bargain. Can't beat that. So you're talking about a 135 guitar, and then we're just adding $25 more to add that bottom end to it. You okay. Know? All um, right. So you're not looking at too much money, maybe 160 out the door, you know. All right. And that's the same price if you came in and built it. So you can either grab it off the wall or you can book a date with us and 
Hey, yourself, can you make so a flying V cigar? We just did for my way. Oh, oh, get out of here! Yes. No way! I was always. I gotta see that. pictures of that. Well, that's what Mike Wade. So he's gonna be there. No, he's, get gonna, out he, of he's gonna be there. And he's yes, gonna and be Mike Wade Dave is the nicest guy. We have been promising the guitar <laughs> for like four years now, and it's finally coming out right before the festival. Nice. nice. And it's gonna be like nothing else we've built. So we always try to one up ourselves, but. Shoot. All right, you Josh, so what are you gonna play, what are you gonna play for us today? I'm probably gonna play that Mofo Blues I posted the other day. I'm still working on that one. I was gonna just completely redo my entire set for this festival because I feel like I need to with a list that's on there. I've got to step. You gotta step it up. Gotta step it up. I, mean, I can't pick this. Well, I so. think you I think you'll deliver, so I'm not worried. Yeah, about that, so. Well, I'm the first, so hopefully everybody will forget about me. You know? I think <laughs> those cards are wrong. So. All right, let's get it on, John. Go ahead. Really? No break in between, huh? No, this is it. <laughs> All right, so we're going right uh, into it. This is a tube amp, so it might take one to two seconds to warm up. I'm going to oh. see that far you yeah. Acoustic kicks on immediately. <laughs> and I think I'll just do the bass drum and try to stay away from the snare. All right, so let's see. coming from that man right? <laughs> damn cigar box <laughs> well the the beauty of it is you know it's only three strings so i'm not I'm not thinking very hard i've had a yellow hammer or two so um, <laughs> but i'm not having to think too terribly hard to play a three string you know and i'm tapping my foot anyway well you know i was, so. I was thinking about the other day i was like i want to get lessons and play i got a piece of guitar that i've never touched and i've never got lessons for but i thought well if i get a cigar box guitar then there's only three things three, three strings i think it'd be easier <laughs> to learn how to play that than anything else so well i think we got some gifts coming this way here, well so i hope so <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can do I'm All right, so that's uh, John Nickel from Nicole, uh, Nickel Cigar Box Guitars over at Low Mill. You're in Studio 106. It's facebook.com forward slash Nickel CBG 256-714-7124. John, thanks for yeah, coming in. Yeah, go see hey. this guy. And, uh, very cigar good. and then also, everybody, of course, these episodes awesome. are brought to you by Yellowhammer. Check out Yellowhammer. Check out their beer garden. Drink their beer. And everybody, have a good weekend. Thanks a lot for checking out No Huntsville. Thanks a lot. Bye. Thanks, John. Thank you, guys. Nice. Bye.